Hey what's up you guys, it's Avery and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome, glad you're here. In today's video I'm excited because this is the third video I've made similar to this where I go around to little free libraries and exchange books, try and find new books and all that jazz. I've really enjoyed the last two of these videos that I've done and I've found really great stuff sometimes which is always like so exciting and so I have some more books that I'm ready to get rid of. Some of them are just ones that I haven't read yet and don't really have the desire to read or that I read and just didn't really like so I just have some books that I'm ready to move to a new family. That is a nice way to put it. And a fun way to do that is little free libraries. So if you don't know what those are, they're basically these cute little mini libraries that people put outside their houses, like on the street usually, right near the street, where you can walk by and pick a book out and exchange one. If you have one, you can bring one. And it's just fun. It's all good vibes. That's pretty much it. Not much, much to say. But I'm going to take you along with me so you can see what they look like and you can see what kind of stuff is in some of these little free libraries. Because some of them are duds, but some of them are jewels. Alright, that's pretty much all I got. Let's go and then we'll reconvene and see what I picked up. the slight problem that it is sprinkling. I thought the forecast said it wasn't gonna keep raining but it is. I'm trying to like navigate making sure I don't get the books or my camera wet but I don't have my umbrella with me. So you know we're working with it. I just got a book and yeah pretty exciting. On to the next one and we're uh, we're, gonna, we're trying to get through this you know what I mean. to take a little snack break went to the grocery store while I'm waiting for this rain to pass the sky is getting clearer in front of me it's still a little cloudy behind me so I think that it's moving away which is exciting but let me put you on to a really great snack a granny smith and baked lays okay it's something about the combination it's my jam it's been kind of what I'm into recently I think it's really the tartness of the Granny Smith with the saltiness of the baked lays together is just so good. It's like that scene from Ratatouille where Remy is putting the flavors together and it's like all the things are going on around him. That's what I feel when I eat this. As you saw from some of that vlog footage, I went to a lot of little free libraries. I just kind of couldn't stop myself. I don't really have much going on today, so I just kept mapping to ones farther and farther away. And I was out for a few hours, but it's always a good time. The rain finally stopped there near the end, which was nice. We gotta work with what we gotta work with. Sometimes the sky has to cry. That was kind of good. I was able to get rid of all of the books that I brought with me, which was exciting. I exchanged all of them, so love to see that. 
But the books I got today kind of surprised me a little because they're books that I don't usually pick up. Well, I don't know if that's the right word. You'll see. They're just kind of interesting books, but a lot of really good finds that I'm excited about. Let's just go ahead and get talking. Get it rolling. Get this thing moving. Okay. The first thing that I got, which is kind of different, but I was super excited to see is this Calvin and Hobbes book called The Days Are Just Packed. I love Calvin and Hobbes. I have another one of the books. I can't remember which one I have, but I love Calvin and Hobbes. I always have. My brother actually started off, I think he has a lot of the books as well, like the nice collections like this of a bunch of the different comics. But Calvin and Hobbes is hilarious. It's kind of funny because I was thinking about it and I was like, it's not even really a kid's comic because half the words that Calvin uses, I don't even understand. So little children definitely probably don't understand. Calvin is like ahead of his time and just says super profound stuff that would go right over kids' heads. It's definitely for the adults because it's pretty funny, but it's also pretty adult humor and kind of like fatalist also, but I love Calvin and Hobbes. So I was super excited to see this there. Look at the back, so cute. So I actually got four like children's books which is kind of you know interesting but i think you'll understand why the first one that i saw which is so cool is my friend flicka and this is pretty old i think it's from like the 80s when it was published this specific edition because the book's older than that it's from the 80s or 70s and so it's not in the best condition but look at the pages turquoise the whole book is like turquoise blue and super cool so i love flicka the movie i went to go see flicka the movie with my dad when it came out together we did like a daddy daughter date ever since then that movie has always just had such a strong hold on me i think i literally watched it a few weeks ago just because it popped up on youtube for free and i was like yup that movie's so good i love horses i grew up riding horses i'm kind of a horse girl i'll say it that's literally a horse statue up here. I'm a horse girl, okay? I'm not afraid to say it. I love the first Flicka movie the most, but I love the other two as well. And I've never read the book that it was based off of, so I'm sure that I'm gonna love this book because I love horses. But I'm just going to have to be very careful when I read it because like I said, it's in pretty banged up condition. The cover is kind of barely holding on. So I might look up some ways that I can preserve it to make sure, you know, it doesn't get any worse damage but it's just a super pretty copy so I was very excited to see it and I'm also excited to read it. I feel like it's one of those books that's like a children's book but it's also just a classic book that anyone will love and can read. Along similar lines I also picked up Pinocchio which okay look at this edition it's so pretty like that's half the reason why I got it is that it's just beautiful and I want to put it on my bookshelf <laughs> but also this is another kind of like very famous children's story that I've never read there are a lot of children's stories that I you know know about but haven't actually read the books for I've seen the movie adaptations but I'm actually kind of interested to see to read this and see what the book is like because I don't have any experience with the book Plus, I like to think like a million years ahead of the future. And so if I like these children's books, I'll keep them for my children and to like read to my children. You know, I don't even have a boyfriend, but I'm planning out my children's future books. So that's where we're at currently. But I actually have quite a few books on my shelf that are like YA books that I really enjoyed, but I'll probably never reread because I don't have the desire to reread them. But I want to be able to have them for my kids. So I just love my future children. What can I say? The next book that I got, which is, I think it's like a YA book. It might be a children's book, but I've seen a lot about it online, which is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. And first of all, the cover is so pretty. Second of all, I've heard a lot about the book. I know it's like a bestseller, did really popular. The New York Times gave it a great review. People, book list. So many people have given it great reviews. Oh, it got the John Newberry medal. She's obviously pretty good. If I don't, you know, if I like it, but I don't want to keep it for my future children. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing to say, but I don't know. It's, it's whatever. Then I'll probably put it back into another free little library later. I've done that before. I'll take a book out of the library, read it, and then 
put it back. But it says every year the people of the protectorate leave a baby as an offering to the witch who lives in the forest to keep her from terrorizing their town. But the witch, Zan, is really kind and gentle. She shares her home with a wise swamp monster and a perfectly tiny dragon. Zan rescues the children and delivers them to welcoming families on the other side of the forest. But one year, she accidentally feeds a baby moonlight, filling the ordinary girl with extraordinary magic. So she has to raise the girl, who she calls Luna, as her own. As Luna's 13th birthday approaches, her magic begins to emerge with unpredictable consequences. Meanwhile, a young man is determined to free his people by killing the witch. And a volcano, dormant for centuries, rumbles within the earth. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Sounds really good. I'm excited to peruse that one because I was talking to a literary agent the other day. We were talking about how people sleep on YA literature when some of the best books out there are children's books and YA books and can really have a very like long lasting impact on you. So haters gonna hate though. And the last book that I got, which I don't know if this falls under children's, I feel like it's another weird one where it's like a children's book, but it's also super well known and popular that has just become like a modern classic and that is The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. Hopefully I'm saying that right. First of all, another pretty book. I've I picked up a lot of really good looking books which was kind of fun. This is the 25th anniversary edition so I don't know what the original edition looked like if it was this pretty but this one the color scheme is just but this is the story of a young Latina girl growing up in Chicago, inventing for herself who and what she will become. It's a pretty thin book and a lot of, someone, whoever put this in here, like annotated it a lot, which that's always kind of fun to read someone else's annotations to see what they thought. But it's a pretty short book, all the chapters are short, I could probably read it in like one hour sitting. It seems like a really interesting story, so was excited to see this one as well. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the adult books. The first one is The Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. I've seen this book all over the place. It's been really popular as well. I've seen it in like Targets, Targets mainly. <laughs> but it's based on the real life story of a New York socialite who championed a group of concentration camp survivors known as the Rabbits. Caroline Faraday is a former Broadway actress and liaison to the French consulate whose life is forever changed when Hitler's army invades Poland in September 1939 and then sets its sights on France. An ocean away from Caroline, Cassia, a Polish teenager, sinks deeper into her role as a courier for the underground resistance movement. In Germany, Hertha, a young doctor, answers an ad for a government medical position, only to find herself trapped in a male-dominated realm of Nazi secrets and power. The lives of these three women are set on a collision course when the unthinkable happens and Kasia is sent to Ravensbrück, the notorious Nazi concentration camp for women. I think I mentioned in my last video I've been really into books about World War II, and it's really interesting that this one is based on the real life story. I, I mean, I'm sure a good amount of it is fictionalized, but I don't know. I've been really interested in stories about World War II, especially about like women who did amazing things during World War II and are often not spoken about. It says extremely moving and memorable should appeal strongly to readers of Kristen Hanna's The Nightingale, which I mentioned a few videos ago, I loved. And Anthony Doerr's All the Light We Cannot See, which I have a hold on Libby. I've had the hole for like months because I'm trying to read that freaking book but haven't gotten to it yet but obviously that book is like insane. Okay so I have another one about two sisters during World War II but mm, I'm sorry okay I'm sorry and it is The Orphan Sisters by Shirley Dickinson. So when they are four years old and eight years old, Eddie and Dorothy are abandoned by their mother at an orphanage. But 11 years later, Eddie and Dorothy are finally released from the orphanage, but their freedom comes when the country is in the grip of World War II and its terrors. Amid a devastating backdrop of screaming air raid sirens and cold nights huddled in shelters, the sisters are desperate to put their broken childhoods behind them. But trouble lies ahead. Dorothy must bid goodbye to her devoted husband when he's sent to war, and Eddie must nurse a broken heart as she falls in love with the one man she can never be with. When a shocking secret about their painful childhood comes to light, will the sisters ever be the same again? Ooh, I don't know. Do you know? And the last book that I picked up on this round of Little Free Libraries searching 
exploring is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abi Dare. I feel like I've seen this one around, but I just couldn't put my finger on where. It's the remarkable, inspiring story of a teenage girl growing up in a rural Nigerian village who longs to get an education so that she can find her louding voice and speak up for herself. It says it shows how one courageous young girl can inspire us to reach for our dreams and maybe even change the world. So, I mean, sounds good. All these books sound super good. So that's why I had to take them all. Alrighty. That is what we're working with and that is what I found as I went around exploring more free little libraries. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you found some really great books at some free little libraries before then let me know in the comments. If you've read any of these books and have any strong opinions about them also let me know in the comments. If you're looking for more free little library content then I have two other videos that will be linked in the description so definitely go watch those. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Go find you some free little libraries. Alright?